Hey yo! Brand new beer from Trillium. Well, at least the hopping. It's Farnsworth Street, one of their street IPA series. But this one is a brand new street name, Farnsworth, because they use Vic Secret hops, a, an Australian hop that I don't think they've used in any beer before at Trillium. They've kind of stuck to a specific six or seven hops mainly in their, their beers, but this one is new, and Vic Secret is a lot like Galaxy. It's used to get that similar tropical, but unique Southern Hemisphere tropical flavor. On the Australian Hop Growing website, they actually say that Vic Secret is just a little bit more resinous than Galaxy, but not as dominant. It doesn't have the really, really high oil count that is in Galaxy, because Galaxy is just, yeah, very, very pungent and potent. So this one, yep, is 7.2%, like all the other street IPAs. It was canned, let's see, 27th, three days ago. And I was just in Portland, Maine, and stopped in New Hampshire at some places. I've had a whole bunch of different breweries, hazy, juicy IPAs. So we'll see what it's like to return to Trillium and also try brand new hop in a trillion beer. People haven't been going super crazy with the ratings on this one, but uh, I really love the Galaxy Hopped one, um, Congress Street, so I'm guessing this will be really similar to that. Quite hazy. Yeah, this smells a lot like Congress Street. I guess maybe it's a little bit more orange and pineapple or something like that. But that's a pretty potent smell. Creamsicle and a really nice head. Not Trillium doesn't always have a perfect head retention, but that one looks like it's gonna stick around for quite a while. It smells really good, actually. It's yeah, pineapple basically is the main thing. Pineapples and syrup too. I'm getting that syrupy thing. We'll see how sweet it is though, but it seems like it's gonna be pretty sweet. Yeah, not not much else but the pineapple and, and orange. I like that smell a lot. It's not as green, doesn't have as much eucalyptus-y green mint sort of thing as uh, as the other streets, especially Congress Street. I like that a lot. Not very dank, as you might say. There is a cool green, like almost cucumbery thing going on. Yeah, but lots of mandarin and pineapple aroma. Very sweet and fruity smelling. And with that classic vanilla birthday cake thing that I get from just about every hoppy trillium beer. And maybe just a hint, a very, very light touch of a white wininess and the head is still sticking around. Very nicely there. Mm. More bitter than expected. Got that nice full body, but a little bit of chalk. Chalkiness on the tongue, it fades though. Yeah, and it's still pretty sweet. That first sip was just like a little bit of an uh, explosion. It is. It does have this really, really clean resinous quality in there that was right on maybe on the edge of pine. And then I get Smarties and you know, pineapple. I get, I'm getting the, um, that ambrosia salad thing that I used to talk about more in Trillium beers, but it's that pineapple, coconut, marshmallowy sort of flavor. But then there's, yeah, it's a little bit cleaner and smoother with a very slight, you know, cucumbery thing on the nose, but then it's very fruity on the tongue. But uh, really, really similar to Congress Street. Um, and I like it a lot. Yeah, be, I wonder which one I'd like more, actually, if I did this one side by side, but so similar. I don't know, if you give this to me, I, I might guess that it's Congress Street. But really well done. And we still got some some lacing and a cap of head on top of there. And it's perfectly hazy. 
Yeah, I think just about every street IPA now, whenever you get a new batch of it, it's, it looks beautiful. They know they know how to brew it and can it at Canton. Um, and I like this actually more than the Monkish collaboration that they released on the same day. I don't know if I did if I released that video yet. But yeah, they, they do great with their double IPAs with the, the grape juice, but I like the straight up just hop IPA or some fruit that seems like it mixes in with the hops a little bit better than um, wine grapes or something like that. But this one is just got yeah, has a really nice fruity aroma. And there is this like super cleany, slight woody. Maybe if this were like a little bit older, had a few weeks on it, I might notice, I might get some actual pine in the flavor. I'm getting some lemony, limey things going on. <clears throat> but that's really nice. Yeah, I'd give this four or five or something. If this beats maybe probably all the, uh, all the beers that I got up north, unfortunately. But yeah, I didn't go to Vermont, Vermont, especially Hill Farmstead and, and Alchemist IPAs. Alchemist IPAs are their own kind of thing. It's like the old fashioned, hazy New England thing. It's like, no one's quite doing that exactly anymore. Everyone's going for just intense, intense, hazy quality. And yeah, you can really depend on Trillium and Trillium is like so easy to get if you live in the area. I, I've finally been able to like hold back and only go like once a month now. I guess this is up like Thistle Brothers is up there with Trillium, but a lot of their beers had too much burn and I don't know, they weren't as fruity. Though I did get cans of Lux um, and I had, I shared a can of that last night and that one's really good. That one might, might be my favorite Thistle Brothers. I'll do a review of that one soon. Because I've had the several times on tap. This is the first time I got cans, and I really like that one. <clears throat> but all their full island IPAs are just too much, too spicy, too green. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting actually more greenness, and now it's getting a little bit more eucalyptusy on this beer. <sighs> Very slight woodiness, and then that lemon lime sprite thing's happening. Yeah, it seems like a lot of times with these beers, at first, they seem really fruity, the aroma is super fruity, and then as, as I drink it, I get more resinous quality, you get more bitter, pithy citrus, but this one's not getting too pithy, or like soapy. Um, it's just morphing, and the, the fruits are changing, but it's still staying really fruity. And I'm getting some, not, not exactly what I would call dankness. It doesn't smell like stemmy hot pellet or anything like that. Which is like a cool, clean cucumber, almost like cucumber mojito y type thing is happening now. Which is nice. Um, and now it seems like it's more unripe pineapple. It doesn't seem as much like a, these syrupy pineapple can sort of thing. That's in the aroma a little bit still though, but this is, this is very nice. <laughs> Hopefully they'll make this one more regularly available. Um, Cause I guess they've done Stilling Street. I think Stilling Street is the only is the other newest street they released last summer. But they did some beers with Enigma Hops, which is, seems like it's super rare, and I love that one. Hopefully they do an Enigma Hop Street soon. But this one is definitely worth it. But it's it's so similar to Congress Street that if you can get this one or Congress Street, they're both fantastic. Goodbye.